Nanotyrannus has kind of been all over the news the past few weeks, so it's obvious we have to talk about it. Hi everyone, and welcome to Fossil of the Week. My name is Dino Hunter, unless you're my mom, who still insists on calling me Hunter Schrader, and this week we've got a Nanotyrannus tooth. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar with Nanotyrannus, up until a few weeks ago, a lot of paleontologists considered Nanotyrannus to be a juvenile T-Rex rather than its own genus, and there's been a very, very heated debate about it for, well, decades. And a recent paper actually just dropped that seems to confirm that it is in fact its own species. Now, Black Hills Institute actually has a very big part in this story, and we will cover that in a video coming up here soon, or earlier than this, depending on how fast I can edit. What you've got before you right now is actually an adult Tyrannosaurus rex tooth and a Nanotyrannus tooth. Now let's look at them closer and we can see those differences. The most obvious thing you're going to notice about these two teeth is that the Nanotyrannus tooth is, of course, much smaller than the adult T-Rex tooth. But there's another difference that's really important too. You'll notice the curve of it. The Nanotyrannus tooth does curve a lot more, and the next tooth we're going to show you is going to show that even more. And another thing is the serrations, right? The serrations here, which are very easy to feel, there's way more serrations here on the Nano than on the adult T-Rex. While we uh, finished filming that scene, I actually had the genius idea to use this really old and broken magnifying glass so you guys can see those serrations better. So there's the differences between the adult T-Rex tooth and the Nano Tyrannus tooth. But let's look at some that are a little closer in size so that you can see those differences a little better. Now what I've got right here, this is the T-Rex tooth, and here's the Nano Tyrannus tooth. We're gonna do a nice zoom in while I talk here. You can see the difference in the curve there, and you can also see that the Nanotyrannus is much more slender. So that's the Nanotyrannus teeth, and we'll definitely get into Nanotyrannus more in the future or in the past if we've already uploaded that video. Uh, but that is all the time we have for you guys. I did not get a chance to do any drawings this week, but I can show you some skulls or casts of them. You can cut now. 